In 2007, 2008, an industry-wide disease outbreak, infectious salmononemia, or ISA virus, unveiled an alarming sanitary situation and put a question mark on a critical topic, the sustainability of salmon farming industry. In this context, Rabobank and WWF decided to join forces to help in addressing the challenge of moving into a sustainable salmon industry, which is committed to minimize its own environmental footprint. The first step was to establish a joint white paper between Rabobank, its clients, and WWF Chile, which set the lines on which the partnership would seek to address the sector's issues. In coastal zones, which interact with the salmon industry, the effectiveness of the use of hydrophones to monitor Chilean dolphin, endemic species of the country, was tested. A clean production agreement was signed to understand and mitigate the possible impacts of salmon farming on blue whales and other large cetaceans. A salmon questionnaire was developed which will be used in the risk assessment of salmon companies to evaluate the sustainable business development of these companies and to identify sustainable business opportunities. In 2010, ASC certification for responsible farm seafood was introduced and adopted by WWF and Rabobank as the leading certification for the Chilean salmon industry. The ASC's mission is to transform aquaculture towards environmental sustainability and social responsibility using efficient market mechanisms that create value across the chain. The industry began accelerating the process for the adoption of the ASC certification, which is expected to represent over 20% of the national salmon production by 2020. Y a raíz de nuestra certificación ASC, nosotros empujamos a los fabricantes de alimentos a usar materias primas que cumplan los estándares de ASC, por ejemplo, eh, pescados que sean certificados de MSC. Eh, Creemos que esa es una de las virtudes que tiene esta certificación, que no solo busca eh, el, la mejor forma de producir en Nova Austral, sino que empuja a Nova Austral a que eh, sus proveedores y prestadores de servicio también eh, estén dentro de ese nivel. Together with the Consensus Building Institute, a toolkit of responsible relationships between salmon companies and communities was developed for the industry to effectively address the social standards of the ASC label. The context for the salmon industry in Chile is one of extreme uh, lack of trust. Uh, and that reflects a history that for many was traumatic. Uh, and to address that lack of trust, companies and communities have to find ways to work better together. This toolkit was developed with the same principles that it espouses, which is in a participatory way, working with communities and the industry to figure out what would work. The toolkit fundamentally envisions an industry that is much more participatory, much more collaborative, and much more thinking about the joint work it needs to do with communities around impacts and around benefits of the industry. Que, que WWF y, y, y Rabobank hayan financiado el, el desarrollo de una, de una herramienta como esta porque, porque no, o sea, está, está demasiado buena para no, para no aprovecharla. Me pareció muy interesante el, el definir seis factores en los cuales podemos internamente hacer un autodiagnóstico y a partir de esto ver cómo podemos eh, mejorar finalmente el desafío que tenemos por delante y poder construir relaciones constructivas con, con nuestras comunidades. For us, the partnership had a positive impact in terms of banking relationship since we have the opportunity to keep developing client intimacy and to maintain a strategic dialogue with different stakeholders helping us to understand the dynamics and the risk of the Chilean summer industry. One of the great successes of the partnership is that it allowed us to gain the confidence of the salmon industry, which permitted us to accelerate our conservation goals. 
For example, in ASA certification, the time between its launch and its adoption rate was much faster than in previous experiences. In just two years, we went from launching the ASA certification to a 13% penetration in the market. For the forest sector, the FSC certification, it took 15 years to reach that penetration. Also, the confidence is reflected in the signature of the clean production agreements with the salmon industry. The partnership between WWF and Rabobank was an initiative that was a pioneer for four years. We would like to project the time and that, hopefully, other banks, other ONGs, would come to a more collaborative work so that they could learn much faster the success that they have. WWF is an organization that works with all different types of stakeholders, including the private sector. The way we normally work is we establish a study, a diagnose, a scientific uh, publication that explains the problems that the private sector has or the producers, and then we go to the producers and ask them to change. The partnership changed the way we worked by forcing us to find common grounds with producers with the financial institutions and with WWF at the beginning of the project. We call it the white paper that set the stage for all the work we did all these years. The interesting thing of this white paper that was probably not perfect for any of the three parties, but by choosing this road, we actually achieve the much more conservation impacts uh, and in half the time as, for example, the forest sector. Rabobank been working with the main salmon farming companies in Chile since their start. That was in the late 80s. Certainly, our main goal is to support their development, but in a very sustainable way. So a few years back, we partnered with the WWF, who has a wealth of knowledge and expertise and having sustainable practices in the many sectors, including agriculture, and we partner with them by bringing the salmon farming companies to the table and by having their expertise helping us and helping the company come to sustainable practices. And that is what we are doing, and we have been extremely successful in advancing this agenda in the past five years. We have brought the companies to the table, we have supported their, um, their projects and the WWF has brought, as I said, their expertise and their uh, global knowledge on how to instill best practices in the sector. The challenge of the industry and the threats to the ecosystem where it operates in Chile are not over. On the one hand, we hope that this partnership opens the way for other financial institutes to understand the role they play in terms of managing the socio-environmental risk of projects and investments. On the other hand, the salmon industry must continue to certify its center under the ASC certification. A certification that needs to be strengthened and incorporate the new problems that arise in the industry. Can actors as diverse as NGOs and financial institutions have a long-term relationship that will have a decisive impact on the conservation of the world's most fragile ecosystem and at the same time change the way of doing business to encourage the development of more sustainable industries?